You son of a burger! So this is episode five of the Burger Brothers, and today we are at a place called Country Kitchen Robin. Country Kitchen Robin, right? So kind of a long name. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting place. It's got a decor of sort of a western. Yeah, so this this reminds <laughs> western, me western, yeah. of like a Western American, yeah. where you have the old wooden log cabin kind exactly. of feel. You got like a ranch outside with the horses and everything. So yeah, well, this whole area, there's a lot of pastures. It's known mm. for milk, the, the Jersey yeah, cows, the cows, the, the agriculture livestock. I yes, guess is what we would yep. say. If you're into horses, um, which I know Kenya is into horses, I yeah, think she's come here before. You can even ride the horses that they have here. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so it's uh, a restaurant that has westernized food, right? Yeah. So let's check out let's <laughs> check out this menu. Of course, we're here for the burgers, but let's check out this menu. Welcome to Country Kitchen Robin. Yeah, it's called Robin. Oh, they got a Wi-Fi password here. <laughs> so we've got steak here. Yeah. We've got chicken saute. You got yeah, some hamburg. hamburg steak. That's yeah. the Salisbury steak. Mm -hmm. Look, it's, it's got two pages of that stuff. Um, pork pork ginger. ginger. Okay. Um, and here's the hamburger that we're here for. So this is not hamburg steak. This is actual hamburger. So they have a hamburger and a cheeseburger. That's yep. all they have is the two two choices. And it comes with potatoes. It says. Yeah. Now you can also get curry, and, and they also have pizza, pizza. which Ooh. I've heard is pretty good here, and then some drinks. Yep. So it's a pretty... Not, not, not too much, but it looks good. Yeah, it's a pretty basic menu, especially in our department. There's only two choices, but, you know, hopefully they're going to be good. They've got the decor right here. The menu looks promising. Yeah. The decor is quite nice. I actually really like this place. Okay, so our burgers just yeah. arrived. Look at this thing. That this looks amazing. amazing. <laughs> it's so huge. I'm, I'm glad they, they put the skewer through it. Mm. And they also give us the, 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 the pouch. Um, yep, to hold the burger in. <laughs> yes. Because it does look a little messy. I mean, yep. look, at that, look at the drippage of all the sauces. And we got, oh yeah, yours is like coming right at the edge there. So, shall we dissect. want to dissect one of yours? Yeah, I'll, I'll do okay. more in. We'll bring you in and we'll dissect this thing. All right, so we got, ooh, we got a little like Dijon mustard, honey mustard looks like. Yeah, some grainy mustard. Uh, ketchup, pickles, onions. Yeah. I like the thinly sliced onions. Yeah, some tomato, tomato. there. <laughs> yep. You got the There's cheese. cheese. On the burger. Patty, lots of lettuce. Lots of lettuce. And more ketchup, some in ketchup on the bottom thick, there. Thick bun. Yeah, the bun's pretty thick. But the bun looks delicious. Yeah, nice and toasted. Uh, a little bit, yeah. Mildly toasted. Yeah. It looks good. All right, we also got a side of ketchup and some fries yeah, over got, there as well. There's plenty of ketchup on this thing. Yeah. Also unrelated, we also got a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> the pizza looks good. It mm. does. Uh, let's see if I can get this sucker in my... Yeah, this is the trick. <laughs> this is the trick. Okay, napkins on standby. Hi, no, you, you can go out with some... This plate's right there. Right there. Okay, yeah, in she goes. In she goes. So, the cheeseburger was 1,300 yen. Hamburger is just 1200 1200 Okay. So we've 100. got the cheeseburger. 100 yen for cheese. That's not bad. But you're right. That is a, a thick, thick bun. Mm. Looks good. Looks really good. Let's do this. All right. Country Kitchen Robin thing. Here we go. 
Mm. Oh. Or toasty bun. Mmm. Go ahead. A lot of veggies, a lot of mayo. Yeah. I just got in that bite. Oh, you got mayo? Mm-hmm. What if there's mayo on the bottom? Mm-hmm. On the bottom. Okay. Yeah, a lot of veggies. I mean, the tomato is really juicy and good. I like it. But too much lettuce, in my opinion. Because this area is very famous of the lettuce and you know, veggies. Oh, really? Mm. Leaf veggies, too. Yeah, the agriculture here in the Hokuto area mm. is really like important to them. So a lot of homegrown veggies here. Tomatoes, lettuce, all that. But in particular, leaf vegetables, cabbage mm. and lettuce kind of thing? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What are you thinking of this patty we got going on here? So far, so good. Um, it's not flame grilled, I don't think, <laughs> no. but it's definitely crunchy. Like they is they, it a, is it a hamburg? Is the question? I don't think so. I don't think it is either. But I think it's a mix of pork and beef. Yeah, the patty doesn't seem like a sort of handmade patty, uh-huh. or maybe a made in a factory kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like frozen or something. But, yeah, the uh, veggies are good. Yeah. Uh-huh. The pickles are homemade, you can tell. It's good. Mm. Mm. I'll be honest, I'm, I'm not really sure where the flavor of the cheese is. Yeah, it tastes a lot like um, just your Japanese processed cheese, the white Japanese well, processed cheese. There's not a lot of flavor mean, to is it. It's so faint, it's hard to tell. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like, yeah. it's just a non taste. It's just for texture. Yeah. Tomato is dominant, which is kind of nice. Mm-hmm. I love the pickles just because mm-hmm. you don't find pickles on a burger here in Japan that often. Unless you go to a McDonald's burger and that kind of stuff. Right. <laughs> they sometimes serve them on the side, you remember? Mm-hmm. Uh, some other place we went last season, they always had them on the side or whatever. Mm-hmm. How are these fries? Like steak cut? Is that what that yeah. is? Crispy. Mm. I don't mind it. Overall, it's a decent, satisfying burger yeah. fries combination. Yeah, I mean, the patty could definitely be better. Uh, it's not the best patty I've ever had. No. But I like the... Right. I like a lot of other things about this burger, though. How do you feel about the bun? I'm, I mean, it looked amazing when they brought it out, but... I love how like, soft it is on the inside, but uh, crunchy on the outside. Like, that top yeah. part of it is really good. But like you said, the sauces that they put on here, like all the ketchup and yeah, everything, the that. mayonnaise, and even the burger juices are making the bottom part of it a little soggy. So if yeah. you sat there and let it like sit for a little bit, I'm sure it would get really bad. We're eating this. There's no way you could eat this without the wrapper. Yeah, it's too <laughs> messy. Sure. Too messy. Oh. Go ahead, Papa. See, see, John. Tap it tight. Tap it. Okay. Mm. No. Mm. Oh shit. Your opinion? How's the bun? Mm. Very Japanese. Oh shit. Good portion. Don't worry. What do you like the most about the burger? I mean, the veggies are kind of the star of this burger. Nice veggies. Pickles. I think it's a mix, yeah. Pickles mm. Yeah. Yeah, the top half of the bun mm. is really good. Okay, so what did you think of that burger? Like we gotta we gotta rank it now compared to the other places right. we so went to. This season's been really tough to decide which one <laughs> goes where. For sure. What what is our ranking of the pre- previous four episodes? Uh right now we have the Hulala, the Matsumoto Black, Black Burger yeah. is number one. Number two is Freaky Freaking. Yep. Number three is the old hanger. Old hanger. And then number four is Co- Kona Coffee. Kona Coffee, yeah. 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 So where would we slide oh, this in? Oh, man. All right, so I really loved a lot of the veggies on this burger. Yeah. Especially yeah. the pickles and the tomato. Were I really think good. for me, the veggies were kind of the star mm-hmm. of the burger. The sauces were pretty good. A little too much, yeah. but still, it was good. 
<clears throat> the the patty itself was just kind of lacking. Yeah. Like, just the mix of beef and pork, mm -hmm. and then to me it felt like really heavily processed. Like you buying it from a supermarket. Yeah. Um, like in the frozen section, <laughs> like the gray meat, <laughs> the back yeah. of the freezer. It wasn't. It, it, wasn't it just wasn't. That wasn't bad, the, no, no, not at all. <laughs> I mean, it was still tasty. It's just yeah. the fact that it just didn't taste like something you would get from your butcher or something more fresh. Mm. With that said, it was still good though. I mean, yeah, and I, I really like this place. I would definitely come back and have this burger again. Yeah, the overall like the environment here is really good. The the food is really good. Like the the pizza, the curry, the you yeah. know, all of it is still really good. Yeah, it's just is it the best one? I think <sighs> I don't know where you would rank it, but I think for me, better than Kono Coffee just because that was a hamburger. Yeah, but I think it's below the other ones. I put it at number four. For me, it's like right there with. Old Hanger, um, just because Old Hanger also had some, like, some things that fun issues or yeah, something. Some things or... I didn't really like about it, like right. the patty was really good at Old Hanger because they used the kosher wine beef. Right. Um, gosh, I mean, I see what you're saying about number four, and I kind of want to put it like at number three, but like, it's just oh. like I said before, they're all like really close this season. <laughs> right. For sure. <laughs> but I would say Old Hanger. It's just below this place. Okay. It's so I, tough. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, of course they're both good, but I just like the meat better at the old hangar. So yeah, I, would yeah. put it, I would put this Robin place at a four. So you said three, I said four. Right. Um, we need a tiebreaker. So we need a tiebreaker. So mm. what could we do? <laughs> well, we got Serena with us and she She's been she to both places. Join us. All the photos that you been seeing she's been taking them and she's been doing a great job so thanks for that and now let's defer to her to decide where she thinks it should be maybe she thinks it should be number one who knows right all right <laughs> so let us know is this better or worse than the old hanger i think it's better than the old hanger. better no. okay so that'll be the three same yeah. as aaron mm -hmm. okay why is that uh, the veggie is very delicious. It's fresh and tomato is mm -hmm. really good. And especially many, uh, the pickles oh, are yeah, yeah. so good. The pickles were really yeah, good. It's That's really for good. sure. And the buns, mm, it's better than, way better than old hunger. And okay. Meat, okay. You said meat, you don't really. Meat was so, yeah, so, so yeah. good. Yeah. But I think, okay. It was okay? Mm. Mm. Okay. That's why. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's settled. Serena <laughs> has ruled. So <laughs> this place is three, dropping the old hangar to, to four, four, and Kono down to five. Yep. So yeah, I mean, it's tough. Mm. Yeah. We, sometimes we got to separate ourselves. Like here, they've got pizza and stuff that's mm. really, really good. Which, you know, but yeah. we got kind of got to separate ourselves. Yep. Even we We're went. Just looking at we went to the Hawaiian place like last yeah. time in Matsumoto. The black burger, oh, amazing. Oh, but. The Mexican, or what was it called? The taco burger. Yeah, the taco burger Not was good not at good. all. So, I think we were we were mainly so impressed by that black burger. But it was good. It was good. It was really good. Okay, so I guess that's it for this episode. I just want to say thanks to you guys for watching, for supporting us, um, for contributing, Appreciate helping us out to film this series. And I think we got one more episode. Yep, episode that'll six be coming, coming soon. Coming next week. So watch for that. I'm excited about this place. I've never been there before. No, I haven't either, and I really want to go. It just opened up, I don't know, a couple months ago. It's yep. brand new, and I've been like, I want to go there. But I've been waiting, I've been waiting. So you have to tune in next week to find out about that. So if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. Yep. Also hit the thumbs up button. And don't forget, yes, ring that dinner bell. Ring that dinner bell so you don't miss our next episode. And I guess on that, we are going to enjoy some pizza. Yeah. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.